Conspiracy theories, huh? Don't you just love them? They're like a good old-fashioned game of telephone where the truth gets twisted and distorted until it bears no resemblance to reality whatsoever. So today, let's talk about the four dumbest conspiracy theories that have ever been conceived by the human mind. First up, we have the classic Flat Earth Theory. Yes, folks, there are still people out there who believe that the Earth is a giant pancake floating in space. I mean, who needs science when you can just look outside and see that the Earth is clearly round? But hey, let's throw all that evidence out the window and go with a theory that's been debunked for centuries. After all, who needs logic when you can have ignorance? Moving on, we have the chemtrails theory. According to some people, those white streaks you see in the sky behind airplanes are chemicals being sprayed by the government for some nefarious purpose. Never mind the fact that those streaks are just contrails caused by the hot exhaust of the plane meeting the cold air in the atmosphere. But hey, let's ignore science and logic and go with a theory that's been debunked time and time again. What do we have next? Have you ever heard of the reptilian elite theory? According to this theory, some of the most powerful people in the world are shape-shifting reptilian aliens in disguise. Yes, you read that right. Apparently the likes of Queen Elizabeth, Barack Obama and Justin Bieber are all secret reptiles in human form, working together to control the world and enslave humanity. Now you might be wondering, how exactly do people come up with this stuff? Well, apparently it all started with a guy named David Icke, who claims to be a spiritual guru but is just a former sports commentator with a wild imagination. He first introduced the idea of the reptilian elite in the 1990s and it's been gaining traction ever since. Of course, there's absolutely zero evidence to support this theory. No one has ever captured a shape-shifting reptilian on camera or found any proof that they even exist. But hey, who needs evidence when you can just believe whatever crazy idea pops into your head? Probably he was just binge-watching reruns of a TV series V that was released in 1984. And finally, we have the moon landing conspiracy theory. Yes, some people believe that the moon landing was faked and that it was all a big Hollywood production. Never mind the fact that thousands of people were involved in the mission or that the evidence of the landing is all around us. No, let's ignore all of that and go with a theory that's so ridiculous it's almost funny. In conclusion... Conspiracy theories are the gift that keeps on giving. They allow us to escape reality and indulge in our wildest fantasies. But let's not forget that they are, at the end of the day, just that, fantasies. So let's all take a deep breath, put on our thinking caps and embrace the truth. Or you know, we could just keep believing in giant pancake earth and secret societies controlling the weather. The choice is yours. Anyways, I have a theory for you. Do you see that subscribe button? It was put there by a secret organization rebelling against the authorities. Smash it now and you'll be set free from slavery.